hello and good day to you welcome to yet another tutorial from frank today's tutorial i'll be handling a request from um i think engineer cc i may get your name wrongly but please apologize um that's based on the spelling i saw and you requested for two things one how to do corner windows secondly how to do double gables and i'll try to handle both in this video as quickly as possible all right so i think it's not just corner windows based on your request as i can see in the image you attached you would also want a window that can go high okay so i'm just going to try um use this project to explain it as quickly as i can now in the case of um where is that in the case of this video that you sent to me what i would recommend first of all is windows like this that go multi-level have to belong on walls that go multi-level observe what i mean visibly if i were to select this there's a wall here on the ground floor there's another wall here on the upper floor okay this is not what you are trying to work on if you have something like this it's not going to work i guess you'd have already faced some frustrations working with this which is why you requested for the knowledge on how to do it so this is not the way what you need to do um let me just quickly dive somewhere here right now i'm going to open the ground floor on the ground floor i could create um something like this i just want to use an internal corner based on the reference image you sent all right so i can view this on the 3d and i will be having this okay now what i was saying is once you have these set them to the height that you want which is in this case two floors now observe what i did here after selecting them all i was like link it not just to the first floor but all the way to the second floor so now it feels this high if i need to make it higher your screenshot has a three-story building so if i was to do something like that what i'm going to do is you know add another floor here and once i do that i can open this and extend this all the way here select and extend rather now that i have one single wall going across this entire length i could place a window and i could do this on floor plan by the way um please link this thing i think after changing the adding this uh, new floor i did and let's see this the usual way after adding the floor i did it's changed the default here so in case you were wondering why the window wasn't placed in here initially all right so now i can place a window right here and if i stretch the height of this window vertically like this you can see now that it opens all the way i could select the window and probably adjust the dimensions to be much more precise For those mullions we had on the one you sent, I could quickly just adjust these values by the way if you feel like it. But my point is, this is the way to get a window going from ground here all the way up. Now, for the corner window, which in this case I'm going to be placing, um, let's see that your screenshots again. Alright, so out in, what I'm going to do first is send this back here. Okay, and then on the floor plan, I'm going to select this corner window too. Okay, and with that tool, I can just draw the window along two edges that are joined together, and I would end up with something like this. So, if I pick any one of them and raise its own height, I do not need to worry, the other one would adjust with it. If I were to pick any one of them and I were to give it mullions or sashes, as the case is here the other one is going to take that as well where the two are not going to be associated is if i'm going to adjust their length like i just did now you see that the length of this one increased but this one remains the same and you can see that play out in the 3d if you are wondering how you could give it um casing as i don't think it's indicated in yours no but there are cases or oh, it's kind of there 
this black stuff we have around the corners here so if i was to give it something like that i'm going to go all the way down here casing outside and i'm going to make this whatever value i want i think you can just try to understand this graphically take your time and play around with it you would get the hang of it so i'm just going to make this something like 200 and make this something like 200 as well and say okay and now i end up with something like this all right so i hope this was helpful in regards to your first request i'll be doing a separate video for the second request if you're watching this video and you want to make your own requests like this you have stuff in akika that you want to learn how to do but you do not know how to go about them then i recommend that you join the akika with frank group chat the link to the chat will be in the description of this video and i'll try to also make it like a pinned comment so if you go into the comment section is the first thing you're going to see if you found this helpful leave a like and if you've not subscribed feel free to do so in fact i'm encouraging you to do so it helps a lot just boost my morale and makes me feel whatever it is i'm doing here is helpful to someone out there and they find value in it that said i look forward to seeing you in the next one bye